Good evening, Mrs. Lily. Hello, Nancy. So glad you could come. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm so glad that I can I could make it too. Where are you? I'm in Lebanon. Great. So let's hope that the internet lasts for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Right. Did you have a look at the recording of our last meeting? Um, actually, I did not. Uh, I'm sorry, but no, uh, I really want. <laughs> no, I just wanted um, to check. I'm yeah. sorry, I couldn't follow up. I was. Uh, I'm preparing for several things, and now I'm having a trip to Geneva. I think you know about it, about the 14th session with the WFWP. Oh, that's great! Oh, great! Wonderful! Yeah, thank you. So I've been uh, drowning with these documents that I had to read and everything. <laughs> Great. We had in the last meeting, yeah. there was uh, Kyung In and myself and Kefilve. And so we were talking about our attitude to social media, where we're at, what we're doing. And we came to the conclusion mm -hmm. that you and Anais, who could not join that first meeting that we had, uh, the next generation. So maybe even <laughs> your approach to the social media is already more appropriate for reaching out to the youth of today, to people who we, we would like to target. So we mm. were very keen to meet all together so we can see where we can complement one another, how we can help each other. And uh, basically, I was very keen to know what you want to do, what you like to do, and to hear any questions about what you have. And I'm really excited to have a social media team where we can work together because I personally feel overwhelmed. I feel there's so much we could do, so much we should do, mm -hmm. and it's important to just look at what can I do and not not get negative yeah yeah I understand I'm actually really glad that I had the opportunity to be in the social media team because uh, I myself have a small business and oh hi hi Kefilve hello <laughs> yeah so uh, I myself had a small business have actually and I work on the social media platform for it it's an online business and I also had a page that supports uh, small businesses through the social media so I was trying to get the uh, tips and tricks for uh, empowering small businesses and how to reach out to more target the correct people and reach out to more audience and uh, but it as you said it's really uh, time consuming and it's um, energy consuming because you have to follow the algorithm every time so there is always a new algorithm for Instagram Facebook and yeah but I'm I, I'm I hope that we can do the best that we can <laughs> I'm very excited to hear that and it seems to me there's a lot of scope that we can as a team work together and mm -hmm. benefit each other and benefit from one another yes Sure. So I guess Kyung In will still be coming. I haven't heard anything from Anna Is. I don't know. Amongst yourselves, have you had any further contact with Anna Is? Does anybody know anything personal no. further the last two weeks with Anna Is? No. Okay. Um, the last interaction was when she was writing in the group. Um, when was this? On the 21st, it looks. Um. So I was just getting a little bit of a catch up with Nancy because I think the rest of you all know one another. You met in New York, right? You or we were you there, Nancy, or were you? I can't remember now. Was it you or Anais who was online in New York? Uh, no, it was who was online. Yeah, no, I was online. Okay, okay. And she was online and Kyungin wasn't there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So yeah, Anais has not really said anything since the 21st. Then let me just um, start briefly. Um, we had... Kenyon just sent a message saying she'll be in shortly. Oh, good. Very good. Yes. Very good. Um, Kenyon sounds great. I'm in the Oops. I scrolled way past. Okay, very good. So we had, Kyung In was in Vienna. We had a conference last week. So we didn't meet last Friday. Our plan last time, uh, Nancy, was we discussed meeting and I recommended, suggested, asked if we could meet once a week. And I wanted to keep it short, not so that we feel, oh, another meeting, I can't make it to once a week is too much. But this is open. It's a suggestion and it's a matter of connecting to each other and to see how we can develop our relationships and our projects. So last week, Kyung In was in Vienna for our conference at the UN and perhaps I could ask her to talk a little bit about it and uh, then we can do a round and um, finish off with what everybody thinks that they would like to do. And I'm excited, Nancy, to hear what you're doing because I think you're probably on some platforms that we are not necessarily so active on. And when I hear what you're doing, I think, wow, you could give us a webinar, a seminar, and an educational session perhaps for the Women's Federation to help us to, I get a lot of questions from our members to ask for support and help, how to do that, how to do this, how to do lots of things. And the report I sent out with the detail of the First Ladies Conference, I was almost um, skeptical after I sent it, wondering if it was too much because I really detailed, made a list of absolutely everything that I did including all of the software projects and the software that I needed to download the videos, to dub the, the sound, to extract the audios, to edit the video, to upload it to the Google Drive and all technical stuff, which we don't all have to do, but it's great if we know who we can call for the support in these different areas. Kyung In, can we see you? Can we hear you? <laughs> you can see me in a little sec. And uh, I was listening in. <laughs> Very uh, just good. a few more minutes, but you can proceed and you will see me soon. Very good. Good. So as I was saying, so Kyung In came to Vienna and we had a week-long meeting at the United Nations. And even though personally I was feeling we should be doing this, we should be doing that, we should be tweeting, posting, taking photographs, recording everything. Renata had arranged for a recording of the, the session that we had and people were taking photographs. And at the very, very end, I posted a few photos onto the Women's Federation Facebook group for Europe after mm -hmm. Carolyn had asked me to. And then I also shared the report that Renata had posted to the Austrian Women's Federation Facebook group and felt so sorry for what I had not done, what had not been done, because there was an amazing potential for sharing. And I was just, I think I, I said to Kyungin, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and I just found it very difficult to just get up and do something. So that's why I'm so excited because we shouldn't allow ourselves to get down. We should find the ways that we can just encourage each other, support each other and pick up where we can when we have the energy, when we see what needs to be done. And I see this meeting as the opportunity to recognise and see what can I do and where can I get help and how can I be 
a support for somebody else and who can help me? And that's what I'd like to um, look at today. So Kyung In, would you like to tell us about your time in Vienna? What's happened since our last online meeting two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, well, why not? Um, so um, yeah, I was in Vienna uh, last week like Lily mentioned for the for the side event of the tra the conve convention on tra against transnational organized crime <laughs> and uh yeah it was yeah we, we I visited some side events and you can always there are also always some plenary sessions of the member states that you can listen to and um, yeah, it was all quite informative as I do not know so much about the um, like transnational organized crime or uh, all kind of systems that um, are there to prevent that or to battle that. So uh, it was very nice to be there again in person uh, and uh, to meet the team. Lily also showed me around. Uh, and so that was also really nice. Thank you again, Lily. So it was nice. And um, yes, like Lily also mentioned, like I also felt I should do way more about the social media thing, but as uh, like the organizer Renata already uh, chose that it would not be hybrid uh, because she thought it would not be possible in that room, but apparent, but actually there was there were facilities to be to have it hybrid so it was a little bit of a pity somehow she could not she she couldn't find out if this was the case so it was a little bit of pity that that it happened like that so also because I knew it was kind of not hybrid so limited I was more focused on just networking there on the spot and um yeah and and just um Get, receiving a lot of information so this whole initiative to be on social media I just dropped it in my mind kind of because I knew it was not hybrid maybe it doesn't make sense but uh yeah for me it was like that but I can imagine Lily's frustration as well uh, when we find out found out that it was actually uh, possible to do it hybrid um and yeah so she arranged I don't know the recordings are already there or uh, posted or not yet that's that's my next source of contention. The youth asked Tony for a recording of their session, and they posted it the next day, very shortly afterwards. I have I met with Tony about something else, and yeah. if Renata hasn't asked him for a recording, then I don't know if he's going to make a recording. The whole point was we believed we will have a recording, but if she hasn't even asked him to do it. It's not his focus. Okay, so, but I mean, uh, so do, you mean the YSP received the recording? Of their session, of Kyunge, of, of um, ha, um, uh, what's her name? Chong, Chonghe. Chonghe, yeah. So they have already posted her whole speech. Oh, just her speech? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The whole speech. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's in progress, I understand. So anyways, I felt also at that point of just after I visited Vienna also, I, I saw some kind of tweet or somebody um, forwarded a tweet of um, the Secretary General and then I thought again, like, yes, Twitter is definitely my first thing to get to know, just personally and also because I will be uh, uh, in Geneva next week, um, also at the okay. UN. Are you also coming, Nancy? Yeah. Did you I finally got I finally got my visa, thankfully. Oh, cool. That's cool. That's good news. Very good Thank news. You. You will Very be there, Kathy, right? No, I actually attended oh. virtually, but after Kyungin told me I wish I had um actually known then I would have come uh, physically. So Next time, I hope. Yes. Communication, yeah. Sorry, we can all we all want to do more. So um, yeah, so that's why I I do think, although I don't feel so much space to think <laughs> or think about these things, I think I want to at least open a Twitter account and see how it works, and let's see there what we can do there. So, anyways, that's it for me. Uh and yeah, 
Thank you. So you don't have, you haven't even, you've never tweeted? You've, you don't no. have a Twitter account? Oh, okay. 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 Because interesting, because Carolyn also thought Twitter was more for her, but I've never seen her do anything either. Okay. And I've got a tw Twitter account that I opened, I don't know, years ago. And sometime recently, Google somehow opened a new account for me under mm -hmm. my own name because I had Oz Lily Gundy. And so I thought, okay, I'll use that for professional. So I've got two tweet Twitter accounts now, and I have to just keep picking which one am I using for, for the different purposes. But I, the thing with Twitter, I find I need to write the hashtags down because the, you can tweet as much as you like, but if you don't use the hashtags, you don't, you're not targeting anybody and you're not reaching out to anybody and you need to have a, it's good to take a bit of time. It's good to just start and then yes. take a bit of time and figure out what to do and pick a hashtag, pick a theme and then tweet with the hashtag and then you can do your lives and, and develop it from there. Great. Yes. Uh I think that uh, for me, I don't know, actually, I also have a Twitter account because uh, there was Twitter, but I didn't use it. <laughs> uh, I'm more familiar with um, with the Instagram, but uh, once I I was introduced to WFWP, um, I immediately ran to search about it on Instagram or Facebook, but I couldn't find so much information and um this is what i first thought of that this big organization they just have to post a little bit more i want to know it before i i ask about it so um as for me i'm i'm very familiar with the instagram and the algorithm of the instagram but i don't know anything about uh, twitter actually so okay uh, actually inter oh no, I was going to say I struggle with uh, Instagram, especially lately. And I also do not understand Facebook because it changes a lot. But I'm more familiar with Twitter. And it's so easy to, uh, on Twitter with the hashtags or even just some of the phrases to connect with people who are interested in the same thing. Hey, so it looks like we've got Kefilbe as the expert in Twitter. Nancy, the expert in Instagram. I've been doing mostly Facebook. I do LinkedIn, but have not not really much for Women's Federation on LinkedIn. And um, Kyungin can um, figure out where she wants to go. She wants to go to Twitter as well. So um, what was that? I forgot what I was actually, actually, I, I also, uh, I do have an Instagram account just because my sister made it forcefully for me, but I don't, I do not use it, but um, at um, uh, so uh, in our side event there was also a lady or uh, the youth focal point of the uh, of the UN talk of, of the UN uh, of that uh, department was there as well and she mentioned like that for example that the UN is also online but they are not really on the the social media where the youth is now so like they're on Facebook but they're not really much on uh, Insta or uh, Instagram or Snapchat so they are working on that as well um, so I think Instagram is also a really good tool especially yeah for the youth and uh, yeah so yeah. the UN is also working on that so I wanted to say that international WFWP international has picked up lately and has started posting a little bit more in social media and definitely Europe has been quite a quite quiet spot, even though with Facebook, we have done quite a bit historically. And though, Kyung in you're right, the UN ODC, I looked at their Facebook account, and I think the last post was more than a year ago. Whereas when I was working at the UN, they were actively posting quite a lot and the IAEA still uses Facebook and but more Twitter than anything else so there's um, a lot more that can be can be done there the other thing that is of interest I've done a couple of courses on YouTube lately and the focal point there has been it's been interesting the people who promote YouTube and in the other areas of um um online marketing lately they 
promote writing an article like a blog, having a website or a blog and posting YouTube saying that when you do that, you have something which is lasting and people can keep coming back to it. And that is where I see for Women's Federation, it would be great if we could get our uh, web page up and running and providing the information, the reports that we've been collecting over the years because reports are being collected and just disappear. Nobody looks at them again and there's nowhere to find them. And I've been asked to provide a, um, a solution to that. And it's a big question for me of what to really suggest because if you don't have somebody, an administrator, you can't run a web page or or a, um, a database unless you've got somebody who's really managing the information there for you. So if we're not prepared to invest in the resources to do that, it's unrealistic to expect it all to just run on on volunteer effort because it's it's just too much work. So um, anyhow, yeah. Kefube, and, would you like to? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say um, I was watching the UN General Assembly. And what they actually do is just post one speech at, at a time. And it's actually nice and it's powerful. And when we have our events, we also have powerful speakers. But you may find that somebody is not going to start from the introduction right up to the end. They might want to take everything in small bites. So I don't know how much uh, editing that would be to have just one speech at a time on our YouTube page. Um, as for the editing, um, I, I'm not an expert, but uh, I think that it's not that hard if you have a laptop. I think that once you, for example, I have the Mac, and once I want to post a video, for example, for the item that I made for my, my small business, I just download the, the video and then go to the iMovies and edit it. And then it will, it will be, uh, it will be like, um, I don't know, you can say professional because you don't know how it is done. It doesn't need um, an application or something. But uh, I think that, of course, having an expert would be perfect. But because of this, the way that I'm using is time consuming. But I think that it's not that uh, that hard if we download all the recording, for example, and then we we edit the clips to have, for example, this title is this speaker. This is the theme that he's talking about. And then the next, I, I agree with your idea. Sounds great. So we've got the will and the interest. I see because yeah. I was looking at, you know, I've been recording our meetings for over 10 years, I think, and I found a speech of Carolyn's from 2015 or 14 or 16. And also the speech that she gave on Saturday, we had an event, a three country event in Vienna with Hungary, Austria and Slovakia. And Apparently, the Slovaks were very disappointed because they had expected a video recording of the meeting and it wasn't organised. But I am, uh, what's the word? Um, you can't, you can't stop me. I had my mobile phone and I was recording, and I had a hundred and twenty minutes of recorded clips, and I haven't done anything with it. I haven't even reported to the Women's Federation that I have it. I went to admit with Tony about it. And Tony is very, very good at editing and, and supporting the um, Family Federation and Women's Federation and UPF in all of the technical areas. And we went over the video editing techniques and the equipment that he's got. And I reckon, I thought, yes, I'd like to make all of this video available to the Women's Federation for Austria, Hungary and Slovakia. And it's still going to take some time for me to go through and um, cut out the, you know, I was just filming with my phone. And sometimes because I didn't want to miss the, the vocals, I kept the camera on even when I was swooping around. So there's a lot of stuff there that's not perfect. And I've got videos that are 10 years old where the fact that Women's Federation had a meeting 
and Carolyn or somebody else gave a wonderful speech. Mm. For me, it's significant. When you look at the videos, they might not look so great. And I see the potential now. Yes, they could be edited. They could, could give a lot more. However, I, I'm passionate about providing this historical material, making it available and securing what comes and sharing it as much as we can. However, for me, the issue has to be to balance what's most important and what's going to bring the most return and how can we use our time most effectively to further our mission and what are our goals? What do we really want to do? So actually now I turn my timer off and it's okay, it's half an hour, 25 minutes already. So um, I open the floor. Anybody who wants to say anything else and, or any other questions that you have, suggestions, and I'd like to hear what you feel, what you really feel called to do. And I'm really excited that you're going to meet in Geneva. That's really wonderful. Yeah. I have one uh, thing in mind. Uh, I don't know if everyone feels the same, but uh, sometimes I think it's uh, kind of um, too many steps to reach for the reports or the recordings. And I don't know, do you think that we can search a way that, that it's easier for, we, we want to target yacht, right? So we have to, to make something that is more easy to access without so many steps so that you are interested because once they set their mind for example if we persuade them to okay come on and watch this recording of the wfwp or the, or this seminar or the speaker talking then they will go through too many steps even if they are three or four but some of of you doesn't like this the, the many steps so they just forget about it or do not read the report because it's taking them to uh, other pages so I think that um, it is important uh, that we make a plat, uh, not a platform, but um, like a, not a website also, I don't know what's the word, but uh, that is easy accessible and, uh, and we do apply Cafe Wiz, uh, am I saying it right? Uh, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we do apply her idea that we 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 do small parts so that nobody lose interest with what's speaking because i might be interested in the speaker speaker's title and not in the others so i don't want to skip a lot i don't know if if i delivered the idea right <laughs> yes i i understand it's, yeah, it's, but it's I wonder what would be the best way, kind of like, where, what, what I think do we need to pick a social media or uh, what is? I, I'm just wondering, like, there's so many things to do, but what is our first step to be able to uh, target a bigger group quicker and more eff efficiently? Okay, for for me, for instance, I think that Instagram Reels are now a huge thing. I don't know about Twitter. Twitter is already um, a news application, but uh, Instagram Reels, when you open your phone, the audios that they are using and everything, it's it's so um, active, and it can be reached to. Uh, we can target audience without even paying for them or just first by the by following the algorithm and then we can maybe make it more stronger if we pay for them uh, like ads or something i don't know if this is we are capable of doing that but i think instagram reels for example is a very powerful tool instagram stories is a very powerful tool also it it boosts the reach of the page this is what i have studied on the while I'm following this uh, the Instagram algorithm for my my small business, so yeah. And, and because I really don't know how Instagram works, only that it works more with pictures. <laughs> but uh, so I guess everybody, like every person, can have a page or something. But I guess, but is it true? And also, can we then also make a page as the Women's Federation Europe, like? Sure, sure. You can you you can do a uh, an account and then you make it public. You do add the category, for example, the ecotalk or NGO or the the one that you you want, and then you start uh boosting your page through reels. 
And uh, to boost your page, you have to follow the algorithm, the audio, the even the filters and everything. So once you are following up, uh, Instagram will boost you because it's now not a, an, a picture application. Uh, not at all. The founder of Instagram actually uh, have report have said that Instagram is now a business tool. So mm-hmm. you can boost your reach if you follow it. You know? And so you you mentioned a few times that you have to follow the algorithm. I mean, is that uh, something that like the algorithm? I mean, do you have to find out what is the algorithm, or do you just have to do what they suggest? Like if you if you're a new member, uh, yeah, yeah. First off, I started by following what's trending, <laughs> but then <laughs> I I went to Instagram Business and I followed several. Um, pages that can help me I did my google search and everything and I started figuring out what's the algorithm so uh, it is like a very like a web everything is linked to everything but once you get the first um, um, part of it you will you will go with it you know Uh, once you understand what's um, updating and everything your page will be boosted so for for instance, for my small business, I started it with zero followers, totally new page. And I didn't pay even uh, $1 for my boosting things. I didn't uh, boost it. I just tried to follow everything that I have searched about. And now I'm 3.5K, for, in, for instance. And I've neglected the page. So I think that if we can do this page and we are active on it and this, for instance, the stories on Instagram are a very powerful tool. You can even sell things because of your stories, even if you feel not that organized. So, um, yeah. Can I ask I don't know Nancy, if I Nancy, maybe next time, could you give us a little mini training on Instagram? I don't know how the internet is. Would, would it be possible for you to maybe record a short training session for us that we could meet together and then discuss. We could watch the video and hopefully the internet is okay for you, but at least we can watch the video and then we could have a an interactive session with you where you could show us how perhaps if you can set up um, an Instagram uh, account for WFWP, and show us how to create the various topics and how different people can log into that account if that's possible. I I haven't heard of. I didn't realize that you could have corporate accounts or different more people on the one Instagram account. But perhaps you can talk to us a little bit about that and make a little presentation. Sure, sure. I'll be glad. But um, next week I'm I'm going to Geneva and I'm preparing, as I said, for the thing. Okay. <laughs> so if if you want, if Kevin, we can do uh, um, if you can explain for us more about Twitter and how does it work, so that I can have more time. I can understand Twitter and can help you. For instance, if uh, if you need and in that time when I can, I will do the the presentation for Instagram. We still need Facebook. (laughs) Yeah. So um, how about as a project that Nancy prepared something about Instagram, uh, Kefirve about uh, Twitter, and um, I can, yeah, I don't want to extend the meeting now too much longer, but I was thinking to show you the um, Facebook. I had the Facebook open. And I was going to, do, do. oh yes, there it is. Okay, so I just go on my other. Um, I just want to say I'm I'm not uh, an expert <laughs> on Twitter. I'm I'm more of a user. <laughs> but okay. I will, even if it's a five minute thing, I will just explain sure. what I sure. know. Yeah. Yeah. That will be very helpful to me. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Sorry, what? Just to be um. Same to me. I'm not an expert. I'm just talking of what I tried to do for my small business, uh, uh, fighting for my small business to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> That's it. But I'm not an expert. Okay. And do you know how you learn? 
you learn by doing, and when you teach, you learn the most. So I'm um, just going to share. Can you see my, um, whoops, this, I saw that's my Twitter account. Oops, that's not what I intended. <laughs> I meant to show you Women's Federation. Can you see the Women's Federation Facebook page? Yes. Okay. So um, this is the Facebook page and here is the report of the conference with photos that I shared from the YSP and from this was what I had posted before the meeting and this is what I posted at the end of our meeting just the photos that I had that had been shared on WhatsApp and just as you did for the meeting before when um with making making the comments any sort of interaction that we have boosts the number of people that become aware of what's going on so you boost a post means you pay money, but as soon as anything is posted by Women's Federation, and we can see on the page when I'm an admin, I can see who was the person who actually posted on the Women's Federation. So Tanya Chandler posted this about an event in the UK, and this is now the um, Artists for Peace Award in September from the UK. And... When you like it, if you might make a comment, then it gets brought up to the top again and then somebody else can like it and share it again. And you can share it with, when you share, you can share it, um, uh, okay, here I'm sharing as Women's Federation, but I could also look at this as myself. And... Okay, that changes the whole setting. As you said, Facebook keeps changing all the time and it's um, not that straightforward to um, to follow everything, but it is, it, <laughs> you need to just have the, the give and take. Just like, and then you see how many people are reached and when you comment or share, then it gets brought to the top and then people will see it when they come into into Facebook. So this was the first post I did at the beginning of our crime conference because something had been posted by UNODC about the head of the United Nations in Vienna. So I shared that where she was explaining about this conference that we were attending on transnational organized crime. And then somebody uh, just added this comment. And then the um, photos here were the ones that I had received through WhatsApp. So I posted them here as an article. And then these were the photos of the final event of the actual side event that we did. And you can see each time these numbers, uh, when you add them all up, we've reached over a thousand interactions there. And it's just a matter of sharing, commenting and promoting to keep the information about Women's Federation circulating. And one thing I did learn at this conference, because there was one guy that was doing it, was we need to have a clear picture of what, what is my message? What do I want to share? So for example, here, if I want to promote true family values, then the comment to make here is that it was a great talk by so-and-so and stressing the particular areas. It's just one sentence, but picking a topic that you want to push, that you want to promote. For example, the, y, the YSP was talking about their values of responsibility, integrity, service, and empathy. And so you can just look at any one of the speakers. So here, none of the speak the video YSP has actually shared their video on, on their social media and it's up to Women's Federation now to get their copy of the rest of the whole thing, which I would then post to YouTube and then to post the channel here, the um the link to the YouTube and then share it from here. So that's what I wanted to show you about Facebook and with um YouTube, with LinkedIn with Twitter. I don't know about TikTok 
and um, Snapchat. They're the two channels that were mentioned by UNODC, but I really have zero knowledge or understanding and I'm not in Snapchat or TikTok. I got the impression they were really juvenile platforms. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not also into Snapchat. I don't have it actually. But I know that um, getting famous on TikTok is really, really uh, easy to do. Because once you the audience and the things and everything, then you will get popular. So this is why I'm not also popular on TikTok. But um, once you also follow the trend, like uh, the TikTok algorithm will push your posts because you are following, for instance, this audio that uh, that is trending now. It might be old, but it's trending now. And if you do a video on this particular audio, then um, TikTok will show your video on the For You page, which is the public page. This is what I know about TikTok. <laughs> YouTube has been giving me the same message through um, webinars that I've been doing on YouTube. It's exactly the same issue. Follow the follow the algorithms and pick the topics that align with yours, and then you'll then you'll get there. So perhaps some um, good. So do we meet next week, or should we meet in two weeks' time? I think maybe next week might be a bit difficult um, with the two ladies going to mm -hmm. um, Geneva. Or is it Vienna? Where, where are you guys going to be next week? In Geneva. 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 Okay. And Nancy, you were mentioning, um, is Fridays always busy for you? Or what is a good time generally for you to meet? No, no, no. Friday isn't uh, always busy for, okay. Okay. for me, but just this week was... Um... Okay. <laughs> then, uh, okay, so today is the 28th and next week is the fourth the 11th would be in two weeks time if if we stick to the friday seven o'clock then um we can feel free to use the whatsapp group also for for chats for for sharing for posting from geneva <laughs> Sure, sure. <laughs> sharing with us and think maybe we can uh, call all the uh, videos and photos you can have and then once we start uh, on instagram for instance we can start with this uh, trip I exactly <laughs> exactly that's what i wanted to say that when you share something i can share it on facebook or just do that on instagram and then we can i mean you can share directly from instagram to facebook as well so yeah, yeah. because we have stories also, on I on Facebook from Instagram. I don't want to be um, talking too much, but I also have this idea. There is also a Meta Business Suit application, which uh, actually bring all Meta applications together, Facebook, Instagram, and um, WhatsApp, I think, but Facebook and Instagram. And it's a very powerful uh, application because it, it uh, preserves time. So you can schedule your posts and the time that you want it to be posted. And you can also add the captions and the hashtags that you need. And you can just schedule the whole week and then forget about it. Uh, all the posts will be posted on the time that you choose. So this is also, um, uh, I think it will be good for us in, in the matter of our time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Sounds wonderful. I'm excited. How are you? <laughs> yes. um, I just want to ask something quickly, not directly related. Um, on the 12th, 12th, I'm going to be speaking at the General Assembly oh, yeah, I for, saw the, that. for the young professionals. Oh, I didn't see it. Um, I didn't see the posters. <laughs> so I wanted to ask if I can talk about this group. Probably not a lot, but because I don't have a lot of time. But if I can talk about this group as well. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great because um, <laughs> I'm moderating the second half of that. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's how you know. Okay. But so you're to going to talk at the General Assembly? Yes, as the leader of the Young Professionals International. Wow. As, at the UN General Assembly? No, at the Women's Federation. No, the well, Women's <laughs> Federation's um, annual General Assembly. Oh, when is that actually? On the 12th. The 12th. It's Saturday, yeah? 
I didn't. Okay. And so we have also general assembly at the women's fest. Sorry, I didn't know about that. <laughs> 12 o'clock our time. Hmm? 12 o'clock on Saturday, the 12th of November. Yeah. Okay. I have to check. Uh, the for, the time, I, for the time zone, we are talking CET, right? CET. So that I know what time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And I was surprised the letter I got from Korea had CET in it. They said, 12 o'clock Vienna time. I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> they even converted the time for me. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But I think that is the time for the speakers and the translators and everybody. Yeah. But yeah, we will. Yeah. 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 Oh, great. Great. So is the 11th too stressy then the day before for you, Kapirube? Or. No, it, it shouldn't be. Okay. So I put 7 p.m. on the 11th, social media team. And if anybody has any connection to Anais, or I'll put post it in the, in the WhatsApp group anyhow, and I'll share the video again. And I haven't, you might have noticed, I haven't published it anywhere yet because I'm, I mentioned in the last meeting that I was planning to write a blog article and to share it. And I haven't got around to that, but... Um, I have lots of ideas and it's always a question of deciding, prioritizing and figuring out where the best energies are going. And I think the most energy comes from our unity through our cooperation with one another. So when we can communicate with each other honestly, authentically, trust each other and know where we can ask for help, then I'm sure we can grow in leaps and bounds. Definitely. Thank you, everyone. Any final words? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to try for myself to uh, make a Twitter account and to even use my Insta. So that will be by, uh, I don't uh, give myself high goals, but yeah, maybe I will ask Ifilwe or Nancy about it um, when I'm using it. So just the first steps, but that, that's like more psychologically the, first, the biggest gap to actually start using it. So that's my goal for the, until we meet again. Great, so. great. Yay. Good. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining. And thank you that we could keep it even under the hour. I think that's that's really my goal, to keep it short and sweet and and keep it vibrant, keep it dynamic. So thank you yes. so much, Nancy, for joining us today. And thank you. See you in two weeks' time. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah.